We are back with more My Southern Home, and I'm here with Will Harris with Will Harris Homes. And Will, I love the homes that you bring us to and the fact that you're so diverse in everything that you build. And you always have multiple homes to offer the community when it comes to specs. Sure. No, we obviously take a lot of pride in that as well. And uh, welcome back to E-Town, by the way. Um, we feel like we have a lot to offer in terms of not only the styles of the house, different layouts and floor plans, but we also build at just about every price point right now. So that's very unique. It's very challenging, um, but it's also very unique and we take a lot of pride in that. So let's talk about price points for a minute because people are hearing that houses are, the prices are, are going up and up and up, and that is true, but money's cheap right now. So I would not let that deter you from getting your dream home if that's what you want to do. No, absolutely. I would just say this, that the conventional means by which folks are buying homes is changing. Um, it's evolving. You know, a lot of folks are going to your Amazons and other online vendors and finding product because quite frankly, you know, sourcing product right now, even for the builders is a challenge and uh, finding the laborers right now is a challenge. So, um, you know, we all know it's a hyper sellers market right now, but in a lot of ways, it still makes a ton of sense to buy and money is still uh, relatively cheap. And so, you know, yeah, we feel like uh, it's never too early to start planning and securing that lot and meeting with that home builder and and get the price you know it might surprise you well and if you're paying two to three thousand dollars in rent right now you're paying that two to three thousand dollars in rent to someone else sure. and not your own personal real estate investment right absolutely and I you know there's a financial side to this and everyone hopefully has that that someone they can go to for advice. But when you look at the numbers, you know, uh, 10 years ago, for example, a house that might have cost $450,000 that now cost $750,000, when you consider the interest rate that you would have been paying 10 years ago, that house payment might be pretty close to the same. And so uh, you have to consider all of these things when you're, when you're buying, and, and we encourage folks to do that. Well, one of the great things that you offer is spec home. So the great thing about a spec home, for those of you that don't know, it's a new construction home that all the decisions have been made for you. So you're still getting this great home, but you're also getting the pricing that you get as a builder. And that's a really big deal, especially with what we have going on right now. Right. And let's be honest, it's going to be the best way to avoid going over a budget um, is to find a home that's substantially complete, that's been priced, you know what you're getting. Um, obviously, that new construction is going to come with a with at least a one year uh, kind of industry standard warranty. There's a ton of value in that. So, you know, I get that question every day. Uh, do I do I buy an existing home, maybe look at remodeling? Uh, you know, that's going to be really challenging right now, especially again, trying to source the product and the, and the, and the workers, that's going to be a challenge. So, you know, in a lot of ways, it still makes a ton of sense to buy and, and spec houses, you know, they're, they're great for a lot of folks because they don't want to go through that process of home building. They, they may think it's, it's too daunting or intimidating and stressful and, and they just kind of want to walk into a home and let it be finished. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say, you know, we take a lot of pride in the fact that we negotiate good deals with our vendors. And so you're going to have probably more value there in a spec home because the builders already negotiated pricing on your behalf before you've enter, entered the home. So uh, spec homes make a lot of sense. Because of the challenges that we're having with getting product in, you're ordering stuff in advance, um, you know, way sooner than you would have. Sure two years ago. So, but even with that being said, there are still some changes that you can make in a spec home depending on that particular opportunity. No, sure. I, we, uh, we kid ourselves at the office when, when, when we say that uh, this home is going to be completely finished and there will be no selections to be made because frankly, you know, I hung my hat in the custom home world. That's, that's where we built our reputation. We like for that homeowner to come in and have some options, you know, even if they're limited, uh, you know, be able to come in and pick some paint colors, uh, pick some, some finishing trim and, and maybe even some flooring options. Uh, but we have to be careful. Like you said, we have to make sure it's within that, 
uh, uh, range of, of product that we've already ordered, sometimes even a year in advance. It's just the lead time on a lot of these products is getting really crazy. So we're trying to stay ahead of that for the consumers so that we can put product out there that is stylish, but also affordable. Well, you've definitely done that. And Elizabethtown is such a beautiful community. And, you know, I know a lot of my friends are wanting to move out of the city because they just want a, a calmer life. Sure. Yeah. And I've been saying this for years. Elizabethtown is such an easy commute to Louisville. And, you know, I, I feel like it's a natural progression. You know, it's uh, expanded and obviously Bullock County is still Metro Louisville and, you know, we're just one county away. And so I do feel like, you know, a lot of folks in E-Town work in Louisville and they make that commute every day and it's very easy. So there's a lot of value in E-Town, especially relative to Louisville. Uh, there's the cheaper taxes. There's the bigger lots. Uh, so there's a lot that E-Town has to offer, and we hope that folks in Louisville will start to consider that. Well, thank you so much, Will. I always enjoy being here. You bet. Always a pleasure. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.